All right. So again, uh, it's going to be rugby union and rugby league and the whole difference. It's another video by Nin Lee, who was the uh, rugby union video that I watched. So yeah, let's just do it. The differences between rugby union and rugby league and a whole lot more. But first, a history lesson. A little history Back in lesson. 1823, right, right. at a local football match in the town of Rugby, an Eng first, a history lesson. Hold on. Back in 1823. No, they're wearing top hats, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Because that's, that's the first thought I would have when I was playing any sport, would to be a top, would to uh, be a put a, holy shit, I can't speak, would be to put a uh, top hat on. Sorry for my... Uh, inability to function with my fascicular region. That's not At a local football match it. in the town of Rugby, an English schoolboy named William Webb Ellis supposedly picked up the ball and ran with it. Pretty soon this became a popular game and in 1871 led to okay. the creation of the governing body known as the RFU, <clears throat> the Rugby Football Union, of which... 1871. I didn't realize this sport was that old. ...still exists today. That's nice and all, but why are there two different kinds? Back then, there were two different kinds of players. Firstly, there were the amateurs. These were public school boys or people rich enough to play the game for free and who didn't need to be paid. <clears throat> Secondly, there were the professionals. These are the people who were so poor that they needed to be paid to play a child's game because they couldn't afford time off work. Nowadays, being a professional sportsman is quite a good job, but back then, it was seen as worse than prostitution. Professionals really? were usually... <laughs> There's no way. Was it that bad? I thought professional sports were around back then, and they were, like, uh, pretty big. Maybe in America, we had baseball, which was pretty big back then. But, I mean, was it that taboo? ...from the north of England, usually That's from weird. Lancashire and Yorkshire. Pretty soon, though, they realized that being paid money to play a game wasn't such a bad idea and started forming fully professional teams. The RFU, really? not happy that these northern professionals were beating the southern amateurs at their own game and being paid quite well for it, decided to ban professionals, ban professional sports teams, and anyone playing professionals or professional sports teams. The okay. professionals, not liking this, set Time's up their own league in 1895 and called themselves the Northern Rugby Football Union, later to be named Rugby League. Whilst they Okay, so it is the two different. Okay, union and league. I guess that, okay. When I when I knew there was a difference, I thought it'd just be like different leagues that formed in kind of like uh, to battle each other. Like I, and the AFL were two separate things, uh, but then they combined later on. Obviously, these two didn't combine, but I thought it, that's what it would be, but no, I guess there, there's a whole big backstory about it, big feud, which is pretty funny. Oh, uh, put it in the comments. Is that feud still around today? Do league and union players not like each other? I want to know. The RFU named that. They might tell us, tell me that, but I don't know. These two sports have been separate ever since 1895, <laughs> and to this day, you'll find most of the professional rugby league teams in the north of England and most of the professional rugby union teams located in the south. Okay, okay. so what is the difference? In general, both kinds of rugby have the same idea. You have to run with the ball and touch it down onto your opponent's in-goal area to score. You can pass the ball sideways or backwards, but not forwards. The opponents have to stop you by grabbing the ball carry and pulling him to the floor. The main difference between the two sports is what happens after the tackle. Okay, this is always the part the that uh, is contested. confuses me. This means that as soon as a tackle has been made, the ball carrier must let go of the ball. This also means, in theory, that either player on either team can pick it up and run with it. This is known as the yep. rook, and it looks like a giant mess of bodies pushing each other and lying around on the floor a bit, and it is, sort of. In Rugby League, however, the tackle is uncontested. After the ball carrier is tackled, the opponent must let go of him, and his team must retreat 10 meters. They must allow the ball carrier to kick the ball back to a teammate, and then they try and run. Okay, replay that. I want to see if I got uncontested. it. Right. After the ball carrier is tackled, the opponent must let go of him, and his team must retreat 10 meters. They must allow the ball carrier to kick the ball back to a teammate, and then they try and run forward with the ball again. The team with the ball is allowed up to six tackles to score before the referee. Okay, can... there was my confu there was my confusion. If you just keep tackling them, like what, what stops them from just tackling them over and over again until they just get down the field? Like in football, we have the, uh, we have um, four. You you get four downs to get a first down, and it's a whole complicated rule, but it works. 
And it doesn't mean, it means that after you get tackled, and it's kind of like this. It is kind of like this, where you can, you get tackled, you get the ball back, but you only have so many tries to do it. It's just a little set up differently. But that's kind of cool. I like that. I like this rule a little bit more than unions. Gives the ball to the other team so that they can have their six tackles. This might seem like a minor rule change, but this has resulted in two almost completely different sports. Other differences include 15 men play in a rugby union team as opposed to 13 men in a rugby okay. league team. Five points for a trying union, four points for a trying league, three points for a penalty kicking union, two points in league. I don't think I could memorize all these rules if, only one point if I league. tried. There are many rules that try. differ between the two codes of rugby, but those are the main ones you need to know about. American football fans who watch rugby league for the first time generally understand it very quickly, as these two sports are very similar. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. Said about rugby union, which will forever confuse our American friends for years to come. So exactly. why did rugby league change the rules? <laughs> if you remember the professionals of 1895, they needed to be paid. To make more money from spectators, they had to change the rules of the game to make it more exciting for spectators to watch. This includes reducing the scoring, reducing the number of men, and including an even amount of possession by limiting the tackles per team. Yeah, this is I like why it. some people say rules. that rugby league is more exciting to watch. You I agree already. You argue that they dumbed down the rules because their tiny little northern monkey brains couldn't understand rugby union, but this is certainly not the case. Union fans refer to rugby league players as idiots, whereas league fans think of union players as fat public schoolboys who can't take a hit. So what's more popular? I rugby love union it. Is the more There's still a feud. Okay, it's cool. Been around for longer. It's also the de facto code of rugby that you'll probably learn in school. Only a handful of countries play rugby league. And in fact, the only country where rugby league is more popular than rugby union is Australia. But in reality, when most yes. people say rugby, they're usually referring to rugby union. So which is better? To answer that question, let's use an analogy of chess and checkers. Checkers, okay. like rugby league, is a very simple game to understand. Every piece is the same, and they all have I a I think it makes role. more sense. It's a fast game, and you really don't need to be a genius to understand what's going on. Chess. I think good. I think in board games, you can get away with it. But I think in sports, the more complicated it is, the less exciting of a sport it is to watch. This is what what they said, which is like I'm gonna start reacting to cricket because it makes no sense to me, and it's not popular here because it's not exciting to watch for us here in America. If you can't tell, I'm American. Um, and it's not popular for us to watch because none of us get it. All of our sports make sense other than football, I guess. But football is a lot like rugby league, so you can kind of pick it up if you know what rugby league is. So, And I'm the college football player saying that football doesn't make sense. It doesn't. I'm well aware. Don't have to tell me. Like Rugby Union is an infinitely Still more complicated fun. game to understand. Some pieces are different than others and perform different roles. It's a much slower game, and it's all about strategy and tactics. You have to be more tactically aware to play Rugby Union, but you have to be fitter to play Rugby League, as your job mainly consists of running with a ball and being smashed in the face for 80 minutes. So I love the question it. is, which do I you love prefer, Rugby League. Chess or checkers? If I'm playing either, I prefer chess, because... I don't know, that's something like uh, I do with my sister a lot when we were growing up. So I do like chess. But rugby league versus rugby union, 100% rugby league. By far, I think it makes more sense. And I think dumb down seems dumber, but it's actually smarter. Because it, again, it makes fans more apt to watch. So I, I definitely prefer uh, rugby league in this case. Rugby League or Rugby Union? The only way you'll truly know is to watch or play both kinds of games and deciding for yourself. So that's that's the video, and go uh, go check out Nin Lee, and I'll tag his uh, account or channel in the uh, description below, so go check him out. He, his videos are really good. I've seen a couple of them already, and they're really well put together, I think. Uh, so yeah, go go check him out. Well, that was a video. Uh, I genuinely think that this made me understand uh, both sides a lot more. And I I don't care if I get, uh, I do care if I get hate for this, but I do prefer rugby league just because it's a lot more like my sport, I think. So that's what I prefer. Again, if you have, uh, if you prefer union, all, all good for you. Uh, no hate there. I'm not a diehard for either by any means. I'm still generally a uh, new to the sport, but I think rugby league makes more sense to me knowing what I grew up with. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, uh, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, ring the bell. 
Uh, and thanks for watching. As usual, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.